My name is Charles Trevelyan, I'm a furniture and product designer. Geometry is a really important part of uh, what I do as a designer. Obviously designing furniture and lighting is all about structure, about making sure that the object is strong, doesn't fall over, doesn't tip over, and that all of the components come together accurately. Um, in doing that, obviously geometry is used both quite specifically in terms of calculating angles, calculating the structural um, looking at how parts fit together, um, but also in a very intuitive sense as a designer you get to know how things work and what will work and what won't work, but still it's an understanding of geometry that underpins all of that. There are several different ways I use it and obviously in a very kind of general sense when you're looking at structures you have to have an understanding of how forces are conveyed through a structure and part of that is angles and working out proportions and so on and geometry is used in that way. But more specifically, when I do computer models, 3D models of the work, then obviously I have to look at the actual geometry work out, all the dimensions, angles. Um, when I'm planning a piece, making models as well, it's all about kind of calculating angles and proportions and so on. A very simple example is uh, when you look at an object and uh, consider whether or not it's going to stand up. Um, lamps, for example, have to have a certain degree of stability and there's an angle or past which uh, something tips over. So you use geometry to calculate the angle at which it will tip using both the, the proportions of the piece and also the centre of gravity. Design of furniture is really about design of structures. Uh, an intrinsic part of structure is geometry. 